The primary advantage of this assay is its simplicity and the accuracy because it does not require an embryo rinse to transfer to the food bio and that avoids losses from technical errors. This protocol does not require expert technical skills. However, the proper timing and careful agar transfer are important for its accuracy and reproducibility. Demonstrating this procedure will be Antonio Rockwell, a recently graduated PhD student from my laboratory. Before beginning the procedure, pour grape agar into a 35 millimeter petri dish to half full and allow the agar to solidify for one hour. When the agar has solidified, use a small plastic knife to gently scratch the surface of the agar around the outside of the plate, leaving the middle of the plate free of scratches. Then place a small amount of freshly prepared yeast paste into the center of the dish and place the dish into an embryo collection mini cage. For embryo collection, first place two virgin Drosophila females and one young male inside the collection cage for 24 hours. The next day, inspect the bottom of the agar plate to look for embryos. If embryos have been laid, transfer the agar plate into a humid chamber and cover the plate with the lid to avoid dehydration. If several days of laying are to be scored, place a new agar plate into the collection cage. Use the microscope to determine the number of hatched embryos in L1 larvae and return the embryos to the...